Have you ever published a YouTube video and come back after a few hours to check if your video analytics in the YouTube studio to find that your CTR is so low, like under 2% or even lower? And even if you left it as it is, after a few days, your video still didn't start getting any views? Well, I'm here to tell you that you're looking at it wrong, because there is a metric that is more important to the YouTube algorithm than how many of your viewers actually click and watch your videos. And if you master this metric, YouTube will promote your video in browse, suggested, and it will do much better in search because it will outrank your competitors. This metric is so powerful because it ties back to your packaging. Yes, the thumbnail. Because everything starts here. And no, I'm not talking about click to rate. But how do you know what thumbnail to make in order to trigger this metric? And even if you have two or three thumbnail ideas that you think it is best for packaging your video, how do you know which one is best for your viewers? Because if your thumbnails are bad, your audience will not watch your newly published video and then your clip will tank and you will get discouraged to make your next one. Because if you don't trigger this secret metric, it will send a powerful signal to the algorithm and YouTube will not push your content to your existing audience and even worse, to the new viewers. But thankfully after waiting more than 10 years, YouTube finally launched this new feature called Test and Compare that lets you choose up to 3 video thumbnails to test with viewers and to help pick the winner thumbnail. This feature is already rolled out to all creators, even for small channels that are under 100 subscribers, and with it you will be able to trigger the secret metric that will make your views skyrocket. But before I reveal this secret, let me show you how this new feature works. So, when you publish a new video through YouTube Studio Desktop, on the Video Details page, go to the Thumbnail section and from the options, select Test and Compare. You can also do this on your older videos by going to the Video Details in the YouTube Studio Desktop, then scroll down to the Thumbnail section. From here, click on the three dots in the top right of your existing thumbnail and then click Test and Compare. From here, you can upload up to three images to test which one of your viewers prefer. Then click Done. From now, testing is only available if you upload videos from desktop and currently only for public long-form videos. Maybe they will add this feature to YouTube Shorts in the future. Once you publish the video, the test starts and YouTube will show your chosen thumbnails evenly across your video's audience and will select the winning thumbnail, but it's not based on click-through rate. So have you guessed by now what is the secret metric? Let me tell you, it is watch time. And the reason for this is that YouTube wants to keep viewers satisfied in order to keep them longer on the platform and they say this clearly on the support page. Great thumbnails serve an important purpose beyond getting viewers to click. They help a viewer understand what the video is about so they don't waste their time on clicking on wrong videos. This is because if the viewer is satisfied, he will watch more videos and YouTube will have more opportunities to show them more ads. As you know, awesome thumbnails don't just make people click. They also clue them into what the video is about, so they can make a well-informed decision on what they like to watch next. So when you pick a thumbnail based on watch time share, you're picking the winner that not only gets the clicks but also keeps viewers hooked. Plus, YouTube search and discovery system give a thumbs up to both these things when ranking videos. So choosing thumbnails this way is a win-win for you and your viewers. Now to get started with the test and compare feature, be sure to enable the advanced features. You can do this by going to YouTube Studio Desktop, then click on settings on the bottom of the left side. From here, go to channel and then on to feature eligibility and enable advanced features. Now if you started to run a test, you can always check its status anytime by going to the thumbnail section in the video details page. Here you can see if the test is still running and if you want to see more details, just hover over the thumbnail and click on the options button and then on view test report. In the test and compare report window, you will be able to see a preliminary status on the top, followed by a status showing you the estimate time remaining for the test. The test is usually going to run at most two weeks, but it can wrap up sooner if it gets enough impressions or if one of the options is totally crushing it. Of course, you can stop the test anytime and manually set one of the thumbnails as the winner. But if you let it run, the results may take a few hours, up to a couple of weeks, to paint the whole picture. The duration of the results are affected by the number of views and the impression the video gets and by how your thumbnails are different from each other. So the more impression it gets, the more faster it will finish. But when the test is done, you may find yourself in three situations. The first one is when it finds a clear winner thumbnail and the final report shows you the winning thumbnail if the results are statistically significant. In this case, YouTube will automatically update your video thumbnail with this one. The second one is when the results are slightly different between the thumbnails, but the results are not statistically significant. In this case, it will show you a preferred label next to the thumbnail that had better results. 
And the third situation is where there is no clear winner thumbnail. In this case, YouTube will automatically select and use the first thumbnail you uploaded. But remember that in any case, you can always manually select the video thumbnail you want to use and that you can run as many tests as you want. But if you run a new test, it will delete your old experiment. Now, a best practice for using the test and compare feature is that the thumbnail needs to adhere to the community guidelines. The other one is that the tool won't work on videos marked as made for kids, for mature audiences, or for lives. An important tip is that great thumbnails do more than just fetching clicks. They give viewers a sneak peek in your video, saving their precious time from clicking on irrelevant videos. I recommend you to test completely different thumbnails in the beginning, and then when you find your winner, double down on that, and then run a test with small variations on that thumbnail. For example, you can test different colors, different text, and different elements. And if you want to deep dive on how to get the most of this tool by running different tests, use the link in the description below, or in the card above, where I will show you my complete workflow on how I use this test and compare tool. But here are some quick tips that you should take in consideration. Make sure your pictures have a cool focal point to guide people's eyes too. Then make sure your subject pops against the background whenever you're using light or dark mode. And if you got a face in your thumbnail, think about the feels. Be super expressive and consider what kind of vibe you want to give off when people see your thumbnail. Now with text, remember that fewer words can be impactful while too much text can be difficult to process while scrolling. Use the rule of maximum 3 words and do not use the space to repeat what is already in the title. And last but not least, regarding depth of field, don't forget about your background and feel free to mess around with some empty space. I'm super excited about the new test and compare feature and I believe it can give you some fantastic insights for creating thumbnails and boost your video's watch time and overall performance in the long run. And now if you're interested in other ways you can improve your videos, just click or tap the video on screen now. I'll be seeing you there. Ciao!